Please like, subscribe, and be sure to click that bell button for regular and exciting indie film content and your chance to be the first to engage with the Liftoff Global Network of Film Festivals as we embark on launching the careers of the filmmakers of tomorrow. Hey, Liftoff. I'm Christopher Oliva, the writer, producer, director, and editor of Spaceman, a short film about an aspiring astronaut starring Scott Nelson and Angela Morris. The film uh, was inspired by the death of the NASA shuttle program. Uh, for the first time in my life, I felt like a part of my childhood had died. And uh, oddly enough, I felt old for the first time in my life. Uh, through that experience, Rupert Madursky was born. Um, and we, we kind of just let him see where the journey took us. Uh, fortunately for the film, uh, it was exhibited at the 2017 Manchester Liftoff Film Festival, which it won. Uh, and subsequently qualified it for the season awards at the end of the year. Uh, in addition to this, it also ex was played at the Liftoff Tokyo, New York, and Los Angeles Film Festivals. Um, I've always felt that Liftoff kind of set the stage for Spaceman um, before it took its two-year festival run. Um, it ended up playing at 42 film festivals, and it won... 14 awards along the way, which we were very fortunate enough to do. Um, of course, at the end of the day, none of that would have been possible without the amazing cast and crew that were part of the project, that contributed their hard work to the project. Um, I'm forever thankful to them and grateful to them. Currently, I am based in Los Angeles, um, and I'm developing two feature films that I'm currently writing, um, and I'm also cutting a feature. Um, at the moment. So without further ado, thank you Liftoff for, for using your platform to showcase these films. Uh, and here is Spaceman. Come again? If my calculations are correct, Rupert, I'm afraid we might have a problem. My FPC shows an impending failure of the antenna orientation unit. Can I see an alignment display, please? <laughs> Would you like a hard copy? I'm sorry, Hal. I didn't get to read that. Rupert? What are you doing in there, Rupert? Nothing! I'm getting ready! Affirmative. A hard copy would be good. Please, if you can, uh... Don't tell me there you're still in bed, Rupert. Electronic error. Mom! Just... Shut your mouth, okay? Please! <sighs> I didn't think it would be like this, Hal. I'm sorry. Strange that it would be... Rupert Madarsky! Extraterrestrial neutrinos in Antarctica again. Hmm. Neutrinos. 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 Can I help you? Attention. 
convention, please. Astronomy club has been canceled for the lack of funding. What happened to this? <laughs> You're bleeding. Oh, it's just uh, official line of duty, comes with the profession sort of thing. Yeah, well, Halloween isn't for another six months. <laughs> I'm training for the selection program to be an astronaut. Danger is a part of that life. Danger over there? Over there? If it is, I'm ready for it. Wow. Rest assured, danger no more, since you do know that they did, in fact, shut the program down, right? Yeah, well, they did. But it's coming back. It's going to come back. I mean, there's some technical things that I can't really talk about right now with you, but the program is on its way. In the meantime, I'm learning Russian. <laughs> you like Russian? Oh, it's a beautiful language. Gorgeous, really. Would you possibly be interested in talking to my students about the program? They find this stuff interesting. In Russian? No, in English. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Great. I'll set it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Madursky. Rupert E. We'll be in touch, ma'am. <laughs> The probability of surviving at this speed is low. I understand. Is there no other option than sacrificing ourselves for the betterment of mankind? It's okay, Rupert. You're brilliant, and I know you can do this. After all, you single-handedly jump-started the shuttle program again, and you're the first guy I've dated that my mother likes. It's because of this, and your mustache, that I love you. Dinner is ready, Rupert! All right, cadets! So, you wanna go into space. You need to train. Going up there is not easy. A lot of people have died going up there. Sorry. Do you think that's funny? Huh? Because it's not. Don't worry. I will show you how we train. I will get you into shape. By watching this space training video that I have made for you, you will have the skills necessary to survive in space for one week independently. After that one week is over, who knows what could happen? Space. God's question mark. Pay attention. This may be the most important video you'll ever watch. Oh, hey, Rupert Murderski, NASA candidate 7575. Physical capabilities, such as curls. My personality is an important part of who I am. I'm polite, I can also be very serious. Punches, kicks. High grabs, I can make a strong point and I can laugh at a joke. <laughs> Suicide. I think they enjoyed the solar system projects. Mm. Not sure the suicides were necessary, though. Well, if they can't handle the suicides, they're gonna have a hard time in life. Right. Hey, you should take them to the planetarium sometime. Like a field trip. I was thinking about it, but the last time I tried, no, 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 no. It'll be better this time. Uh, it'll be so great. It, it's the best place in the world. You could come and I'll show you around. Explore and immerse yourself. Even it out, even it out, even her out.
Lord Leo Howard, because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are willing to postpone, and one we will be. So let me ask, what do you remember? Like, why do you love science and space? What do you remember from when you were first aware of the program? Uh, I don't know. When we were kids, that was it. Two things kids wanted to be when they grew up. President of the United States or an astronaut. It was pure and American. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. My brother wanted to be an astronaut. He's a pilot now. So, he didn't make it quite as far as he would have liked. He probably didn't do his suicides. Probably not. Well, it's a strict regimen. It takes a lot of discipline. It's not for everybody. I mean, I'm training every day. Physically, mentally, or even phys mentally, which is doing both simultaneously. Well, things have changed. What's that? Things have changed. The shuttle program and all that. Times are different, you know? No more man missions, all machines. Seems like only movies preserve the dreams we used to have. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's good. I mean, you talk as if Skynet is gonna launch tomorrow. You can't be serious. It's just a bump in the road. Things are gonna get started up again. Listen, I'm sorry if your brother didn't have what it takes, but you have the opportunity to be a part of something great. And it seems like you don't even care about that. I know you're just a teacher, but I think even you should be able to understand that. You cosmolog? Yet. Astronaut. Yes, it is the same thing. Yet, cosmonaut Doctor Ayamista. Come on, they need you.
I like what we've got going on. The whole thing looks pretty authentic. I think, it, I mean, all our hard work's paying off right here. Uh, uh, I want to get those tucked up underneath. I feel like we're missing something, you know? I think it looks fabulous, don't you? Yeah, yeah, I think it looks great. <laughs> you did great. That's why I love working with you. Definitely why I love working with you. <laughs> we should Instagram this moment. That's a great fucking idea. You know, it's important to be on social media nowadays. Definitely important to be on social media. God, you're really great at what you do. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I don't need you to tell me that, okay? I know how good I am. I'm fucking great. I mean, see that over there? My PP. Flight controls are uh, off. What? I mean, they're off. The whole design is incorrect. Your systematic inventory list is in the wrong compartment. That needs to be switched with your emergency systems. I mean, I guess it all just depends on where you see the drop-off happening. But you don't want to see yourself a, a victim uh, indicted because of the circumstances of lazy engineering. <laughs> you know? It's the details. And this? <laughs> Does it look like NASA? Eh, yeah, but come on. Where is the mission patch? Every space flight needs a mission patch. Without one, it's just unrealistic. <laughs> You're right. What? He's right. I don't know how I forgot. I mean, you gotta have a mission patch. <laughs> 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 Are you? Get out of the shot! Let's go, come on, picture up! Roll sound? Sound speeds? 23 Romeo, take one, marker. Settle, people! Action. Did we ever get a read on those antenna orientation units, Hal? Hello, Rupert. Would you like me to reboot that data? Yes, please. It's so beautiful out here, Hal. It is, Rupert. So peaceful. It's imperative that you return to the ship. You must turn back. You have to return to the ship. Oxygen levels suggested. Hammond. 